Okay, day two with the Rodecaster Pro 2. I am loving this thing. I have been putting it through its paces. And today we're gonna to do something a little different. I wanna connect the Rodecaster Pro 2 to my preferred digital audio workstation, my DAW, which is Persona Studio One. And something else I'm doing a little different today is I'm using a totally different microphone to record this specific video, day two of the Rodecaster Pro 2. Now, day one, I use the Rode Pod mic. Day two, I am using the Sennheiser MKE 600 shotgun microphone. It is right here. And I have to say this even before we move forward as well. I had the MKE 600 connected to the original Rodecaster, and it sounded really weird. You know, I had to do a lot of post-production on my audio clips just to get everything right. But, you know, with this microphone, the Sennheiser MKE 600, with the Rodecaster Pro 2, this thing sounds butter. So I am loving this. So today we're going to jump into my Persona Studio One digital audio workstation. And we're going to just, you know, I'm going to just take you through the steps of setting up your I.O., getting this thing to work with your digital audio workstation. And it is the same across the board. Setting up an I.O. with a digital audio workstation, a DAW, it's pretty simple. It's pretty straightforward. So let's get into it. Alrighty, so here we are. We're going to connect the Rodecaster Pro 2 to Persona Studio One. But before we get into that, Rode has provided some awesome documentation in terms of how to set everything up. You know, the documentation, I mean, it's just so straightforward. And I just wanted to show you this piece. Uh, I think this is page four or five of the documentation. As you can see, they do state 16 audio outputs. You know, they break them down into mono, but obviously we have four mono, which are the microphones, and then we have six stereo. So let's go to my DAW. So here it is. I have a clean session open for Studio One. And now we need to set up the actual DAW. So let's go into the DAW. Let's go to my preferences. In here for the audio device, for the playback device, and also the recording device, we want to select Roadcaster Pro 2 Main. Now, that's set, right? <clears throat> so now what we want to do is we want to go into Song Setup. And then we want to go into the Audio I.O. Setup. So right now, you know, when you connect it, it just gives you like, you know, basically three outputs and inputs. Well, basically two inputs, the main, and then the outputs are one, two, and three. What we wanna do is we wanna blow those away. So let's start adding our mono tracks. We're gonna call these mic with the space. We're gonna make those mono, we want four. And we're gonna do that. Right, so I'm not I'm not gonna like you know set up the I/O just yet. I want to um, you know just start adding the different sort of tracks. So remember, we have 16 tracks, four mono and six stereo. So now let's add these six stereo tracks. So we're gonna go here. We're gonna call these. Just gonna call them stereo, if I can spell with the space. We're gonna select format as stereo, and we want six. And there we go. So now we have everything right here. So what I'm going to do is we know that, again, according to Rode, mics one, two, three, and four are assigned to mic one is channel three, mic two, four, mic three, five, and mic four, six. So let's go over to back to the back to studio one and let's set mic two, mic one to three, mic two to four mic three to five, and mic four to six. We also know that a stereo track is one and two. So we wanna come over here to stereo one and set up one and two. So let's just rename that as well, um, stereo mix. And then we also know that we have a Bluetooth, right? Um, we also know that we have smart pads, and we also know that we have a USB main. We also have USB chat. And we also have USB secondary. I'm just going to name that USB second. And so, again, if we go back over to the documentation, we know that 
the USB secondary tracks are 15 and 16. So let's go back over to the IO setup and let's go to the right and the USB two is already selected as 15 and 16. The stereo mix, if we come up here, is one and two right here, you see? I like to bring my stereo mix up to the front, up to the top, I should say. And now everything looks pretty laid out well, you see. So now everything is set up, my IO is set up. I'm going to select, I'm going to hit apply. So the IO setup is done. So what we wanna do now, if you have Studio One, is export your IO. Now you wanna export your IO because let's just say, you know, you have a friend who also uses the Rodecaster Pro 2 and Stu uh, Persona Studio One. You can just mail them the IO file and you know, they can just import it and everything will be fine. So I like to export it. So I'm going to say Rodecaster Pro 2 uh, IO setup if I can spell, and we're gonna hit save. So now that's an IO configurations folder. So now we go over here to okay. So the IO is set up, everything is set up. Now we wanna add tracks to the session and then, and then start assigning the different inputs to the different tracks. So let's go up here, let's go to tracks. We wanna add four mono tracks. So we're gonna just call those mic with the space we want to do four and we want those to be mono. So let's go in and add those. So, you know, they're already sort of labeled because I labeled them mic space and then, you know, it just, you know, adds the number to them. So we know that mic is mic one. So that's the input. Mic two is mic two, less than like two. Three is three and four is mic four or input number six. So now we need to add the stereo tracks. So let's go back to tracks and let's add six stereo tracks. So we're gonna call these um, stereo with the space. We want that to be six and we also want the format to be stereo. We're gonna add those. Now they're just, here are the stereo tracks. So here I'm just gonna name this here stereo main. And I want to, that looks like that's too many spaces here. Yes, it is. Uh, let's go here, main. And now I want to select my input as stereo, where is it here? Stereo main. And again, I like to pull it up to the top because I like to see where my stereo mix is. And I also like to give that a color of red. Is that red? Uh, not really, let me see, uh, it's sort of red, we'll do that. So now let's go down to the other stereo tracks and assign those and rename those. This is Bluetooth, so we're gonna go here, Bluetooth, um, and we're going to assign it to the Bluetooth stereo channel. We also have smart pads, and we want to assign that to the smart pads input. We also have USB main, and so on and so forth. So let's go down the main USB chat and let's select the chat here. And then last but certainly not least is USB secondary. Um, let's go here. And then we want to select USB secondary. So this is all set up, right? So let's, even though this is complete, you don't want to open a new session and always have to, you know, start adding tracks and, you know, assigning them to different inputs. In Persona Studio One, you can save this as a template. So let's go up to File, Save as a Template, and let's name this here um, RP, RCP2, and we're gonna say version three because I have a couple versions here. So I'm just gonna go version three. You can also add an image if you want to. Um, so I'm just gonna go okay. So I'm going to like come out of this here. I'm gonna save this here. And so I'm just gonna close this and just show you what it looks like. So now when I open up a new project, I go to new song. And as you can see, my interface here 
I don't have anything down here, but that's okay. But if I go over to user, I can see all of the different templates I created for the Roadcaster Pro 2. So I'm gonna select three, gonna open it up, and bam, everything is there. So let's see if we, you know, get some meter action if I hit record on track number two because that's where the Sennheiser MKE 600 is located. So if I hit that, there we go. We have meter, we have volume, we have bouncing. Let's look at the inputs here. There are the inputs, everything is popping, it's dope. Even if we go to stereo mix, we can add that. If I go to my smart pads and I just turn that up, everything is like working pretty well. Um, and, and you know, that's pretty much it. It's that simple. So again, this is the DAW setup with uh, the Rodecaster Pro 2 and Persona Studio One. Now really quickly, Rode does provide templates or walkthroughs for different, setting this up with different DAWs. They don't have, you know, really popular DAWs such as Ableton and also Studio One, Persona Studio One, and also Cakewalk and some others. But they do have GarageBand, Logic, Pro Tools, um, Adobe Edition, and Reaper, both for PC and Mac. When I set the I.O. up on the original Rodecaster Pro, I just followed the GarageBand template. And like I said, you know, setting up your I.O. is pretty simple. I'll also leave links in the show description if you work with Persona Studio One and you want the uh, export file for the I.O. setup. Okay, well, there you have it. Like I said, pretty simple to connect the Rodecaster Pro 2 with any digital audio workstation. In my case, I'm using Persona Studio One because that is the DAW that I use. And again, like I said, I am using the Sennheiser MKE 600 shotgun microphone. It is right here. That is what I am using today to record this video. Now I am going to release maybe two more videos about the Rodecaster Pro 2, and I will be using different microphones as well for those videos. And don't forget to check out our t-shirts on Amazon, exclusively on Amazon. We have some really great designs. It helps the channel out and, and you receive your t-shirt in two days, two days, order on Amazon, receive your t-shirts in two days, help the channel out and leave a comment until next time. Peace.